Now Jacob lifted his eyes and looked, and there Esau was coming, and with him were four hundred men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two maidservants. And he put the maidservants and their children in front, Leah and her children behind, and Rachel and Joseph last. Then he crossed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. And he lifted his eyes and saw the women and children. Who are these with you? The children whom God has graciously given your servant. Then the maidservants came near, they and their children, and bowed down. And Leah also came near with her children, and they bowed down. Afterward, Joseph and Rachel came near, and they bowed down. What do you mean by all this company which I met? These are to find favor in the sight of my Lord. I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. No, please. If I have now found favor in your sight, then receive my present from my hand, inasmuch as I have seen your face as though I had seen the face of God and you were pleased with me. Please, take my blessing that is brought to you because God has dealt graciously with me and because I have enough. So he urged him, and he took it. Then Esau said, Let us take our journey. Let us go, and I will go before you. My Lord knows that the children are weak, and the flocks and herds which are nursing are with me. And if the men should drive them hard one day, all the flock will die. Please let my Lord go on ahead before his servant. I will lead on slowly at a pace which the livestock that go before me and the children are able to endure until I come to my lord and see her. Now let me leave with you some of the people who are with me. What need is there? Let me find favor in the sight of my lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to Seir. And Jacob journeyed to Succoth, built himself a house, and made booths for his livestock. Therefore the name of the place is called Succoth. Then Jacob came safely to the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Padam Aram, and he pitched his tent before the city. And he bought the parcel of land where he had pitched his tent from the children of Hamor, Shechem's father for one hundred pieces of money. Then he erected an altar there and called it Elilohe Israel.